In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to go through the All in One SEO setup wizard. Welcome to All in One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is install the All in One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So, let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We're going to get to that wizard in just a minute, but for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard and finish up the install. And then if you scroll on down this page, there's a spot for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at AIOSEO.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All in one SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the dashboard link just so we're all on the same page. All right, so you've installed All in One SEO. Congratulations. But maybe when that prompt popped up asking you to go through the setup wizard, you skipped out of it. Not to worry, you can get back to that setup wizard at any time. And there's two ways to get in there. We're on the WordPress dashboard right now. The first way is going to be under the All-in-One SEO menu on the left, if you click on that dashboard link. And that brings you to the All-in-One SEO dashboard. And front and center here is a big green button that says Launch the Setup Wizard. So let's head back to the WordPress dashboard, and I'll show you the other way to get into the All-in-One SEO Setup Wizard. If we just scroll down on the dashboard, there's actually a widget, and it has a blue button that says Improve SEO Rankings. So I'm going to click on that now and launch the wizard. And that brings you right into the first step of the wizard. For this example, we're going to pretend that we are an online store that sells socks. We're going to be the sock selling stores. The first question asks you which category best describes your website. So we are an online store. And then we're going to decide how do we want to set up the homepage title. Site title, separator, and tagline. That actually sounds perfect to me. So I'm going to leave that as is. But you can use any of these smart tags here. These smart tags appear throughout All-in-One SEO. You can always click the View All Tags link or simply type the hashtag symbol and you'll get a list of all of the smart tags that are available to you. For this example, I think the default is great. The site title separator and the tagline. So that's what we're going to use. For the description, I don't want to use the tagline to my site. I want to put in my own custom description. So I'm going to just backspace to delete that and I'm going to type in my own description. To continue on, click the blue Save and Continue button. Step two is asking me if this is a person or an organization. Since this is a store, I'm going to leave it on an organization. If this was a blog or a photography site or something like that, you could put it on person. I'm going to leave it on organization. Under organization name, it has pulled in demo site from the WordPress name of my site. I'm going to call it Demo Sock Site. For this one, I'm going to say I have an 800 number that I want customers to be able to see and call me at. And then you can choose a contact type for this phone number. So I'm going to call this customer support in lieu of something else like tech support or billing support. Below that, we have a space for our logo. So I'm going to click upload or select image. This is a brand new website. So I'm going to upload a file and I have a file called sock logo. So that's going to be the logo for the website. 
Below that, I have an opportunity to put a default social share image in. So this is what will be shared on social media as a default image. So if someone shares a link to your site, maybe instead of having an image that appears prominently on your website that works well for the website, you have an image that works better for social media. So you have an opportunity to upload that here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Again, this is a brand new site, so there's nothing in the media library. I'm going to click on the Upload Files tab and select my file. So this is now what would appear on social media when someone shares my website. And then below that, you have an opportunity to fill out all the info of your social media profiles. So I'm not going to fill all of these out, but if your company, this sock store in this example, has a Facebook page, you would enter that here. If they have a Twitter account, you would enter that here, Instagram here, and so on for all of your different social media accounts. Click the blue Save and Continue button after that. And here you can select which SEO features you want to enable. All-in-One SEO automatically enables certain features based on the answers you provided to the prior couple of steps. So if you said your site was a blog instead of a store, there's going to be different options enabled and disabled here. But this is just our recommendations. You can also enable or disable features to your liking. So I'm going down the list here. I think everything sounds good. I want to have optimized search appearance. I want the sitemaps feature. I want to download the analytics plugin. I want conversion tools. I want image SEO. This all sounds great. And I see that local SEO is not selected because this is an e-commerce store. But what they don't know is that I also have a physical store. So I'll just simply go ahead and select local SEO as well. I don't do any video content, so I'm going to deselect the video sitemap. So when you're done with this section, hit Save and Continue, and any additional add-on plugins will be installed at this time. And then this last step here just has us review some things. So the first one is showing us how our site will appear on Google. So there's also an opportunity here to change things. If you don't like this, I can hover over it and edit the title and description. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave that as is. You can decide whether your site is live or under construction. My site is live, so I'm going to leave that as is. I do want to include all post types. I do want a sitemap. I do have multiple authors. And then redirect attachment pages speaks to attachment pages in WordPress. So anytime you upload something to the media library in WordPress, it creates a page for that media item. And that page has very little value for SEOs. We have a built-in feature to All-in-One SEO to redirect the attachment page to the actual attachment, which is more valuable from an SEO standpoint. So we recommend leaving that as yes. When you're done reviewing these items, click Save and Continue. And that's it. Congratulations. You're done with the All-in-One SEO Setup Wizard, and your site is now SEO ready. We can scroll down and hit Finish Setup and go to the dashboard. So that's how to go through the all-in-one SEO setup wizard. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to run an SEO analysis on your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.